Hello guys, welcome to my channel, easy to learn. So yeah, today I'm going to start with the new module of software architecture and design pattern. Let us understand the topics in easy manner, okay? Uh, before that, please understand that what I'm going to teach you will be in very easy manner, okay? You will learn it without any difficulties. And uh, these are questions that come in your VTU SEM question papers. Points to be noted, okay? So let us begin with the first topic of the module that is design pattern. So, what is design pattern? It's a general repeatable solution. It's a general repeatable solution to the commonly occurring problem in the software designs. As the statement implies, it's the solution to the commonly occurring problem in the software design. Each pattern describes a problem which occur repeatedly in the environment and describes the solution to that problem. That solution can be used in many ways. It's a problem which occurs over and over <coughs> again in our environment, and then we describe the core of so core solution of the pro problem in a way that you can use the solution a million times or uh, times over without ever doing the same way twice. Okay, I hope you understand. Yeah. Next is a uh, next main it's an important question that arises in your video. Some question paper is essential elements of design pattern. Okay, these are the elements that describes the design pattern. So yeah, first one is pattern. Second one is problem. Third one is solution, and the fourth one is consequence. So pattern name used to describe design patterns solutions and the consequences increases the design vocabulary makes to understand the patterns at high level abstraction enhances the communication uh, so uh, let's understand what pattern name is in the easy way so it's a handle okay it's a tool we use to describe a problem solution and its consequences uh, it it's it let us it lets us design a higher level of abstraction yeah next is problem describes when to apply the pattern explains the problem describes specific design problem or a class or the ob object structures see uh, you people know right what is the problem the problem is something it's like disturbance in the machine or the real world examples in other real world example okay so problem describes when to apply the pattern it explains a uh, problem and its context uh, it may include the list of conditions that must be met before the if uh, before it makes sense to apply the problem right yeah, this is what I bought the pro <coughs> problem. So, next is the solution. It describes the elements like design, their responsibility, relationships, and the collaborations. Does not describe concrete implementation, abstract description of design problems, and how to solve it. So, solution and how to solve it. This is an easy way of understanding what solution is, right? For a pro given problem, finding a solution. To find a solution, what is needed? Uh, the, you know, the root cause and how to solve it, the problem statement. So, uh, you know, the solution describes the element that make up the design. The relationship, responsibilities, and the collaborations. The solution does not describe a particular concrete design, but a, a pattern is like a template that can be applied in many different situations. Okay. Next is consequences. Re uh, consequences, yeah. After deriving the solution, what are all the consequences occurred? That will be even here. So, the results of 
applying the pattern, describes the address language, implementation issues, includes impact on systemic flexibility, extensibility, and the portability. Uh, this is all about design patterns and its essential elements. If you like the video and if you understood it well, subscribe to my channel and like, share, and comment. Yeah, thank you.